Good evening. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay. So good to see you all. And to the whole day, blessed are the one who is staying in the house of the Lord for the whole day. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Who really enjoy in the presence of God? Who choose to be in the presence of God? Then moving around. <laughs> Can you say amen for yourself? Amen. Are you a blessed guy? Yes. yes. Let's turn our Bible to Psalm 125. The title of this psalm is called Safety in the Lord. Safety in the Lord. Let's read the first verse. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever. You know, our God is Almighty God. Can you say amen? amen? He can do everything, anything, even beyond our imagination. He can do beyond nature, extraordinary. Like, He can divide the Red Sea. He can stop the sun and the moon and stand, stand still until Joshua won for the battle. Our God is beyond nature. Amen? Beyond our imagination. With him, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible for God, which we, do, we already know. We are, many a time we said that we believe. He is always trustworthy God. And also, he also delights in those who trust in him. Amen? God really delights for those who trust in him. And he also expects or he also wants us to trust and to rest in him. Amen? At the same time, he hates those who not trust him. He does not like those who do not trust in him. Why are you? Why, who are you that you may not trust in me? That may be God's word. God is saying to each one of us. What kind of problem you have? Why you don't trust me? What kind of sickness you have? Why you don't trust me? Why, what kind of situation you are in? Why don't you trust me that I can solve all your problems? Amen? There was a, a man came with his son. His son was demon possessed. And the disciples of Jesus could not cast out the devil, the demon from his son. Then Jesus came and asked this man, what's your problem? Jesus said, Sir, Master, the devil tried to destroy my son. Many a time he let him fall into the fire, sometimes into the water. But have mercy on us if you can do anything. If you can do anything, have mercy on us. That was in Mark chapter 9, verse 21, 22, it says like that. If you can do, have mercy on us. 
this man of course he came to jesus with the problem but still he is full of doubt full of unbelief even though he came to jesus full of unbelief he said if you can do if you cannot do me he really don't trust that jesus can do right if you can do have mercy on us help us so today at this the same question many of us may have many a time those who are watching from the website you may also have a big problem which you may think it's very impossible for any way you can solve the problem and if, if, if your debt may be a big mountain your sickness may be so big or your situation family situation your job situation whatever maybe your bank account will be minus or whatever your credit maybe a bad credit whatever or your spiritual life is very downward you may think there's no way to come out of this situation but jesus answered that man if he said if when when he said if you can do anything have mercy on us and jesus said mark chapter 9 verse 23 if you believe i can do all things amen if you ask me if you can do anything let me ask you can you believe in me can you trust in me that i can do if you can trust me if you believe that i can do for you i can do all things for those who believe amen then immediately this man shout like anything lord now i believe you help me my unbelief help me my forgive my unbelief now i believe you lord as he said he believes in the lord jesus christ if you want to read the bible that is mark chapter 9 verse 23 you will find it as jesus heard a seize the faith the heart of belief of this man immediately he cast out the devil out of his son amen jesus always moved when he sees faith the faith is that move jesus amen the faith is that move god the faith is that move god almighty to do something on your behalf amen when the in the time you believe you start to believe and trust in the lord that is the thing that move the unseen mighty hand of god to work on your behalf can you say amen for that amen 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 amen, amen. 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 you know the whole israel israelites were afraid of the philistines and the giant goliath shouted like he challenged if there's anyone who can come and fight with me if he win me the whole philistines will be the slave to the israelites if i win and all the israelites will be the slave of israel he challenged shout like anything his volume was so big so the whole israel army was shaking afraid of him then D- david the son of jesse came from the field of his 
shepherding his father's flocks. He heard of that shout, shout of Goliath one day. Even though bodily he is a small guy, even not worth, worthy to become a soldier of Israel, a small shepherd, shepherd boy. But he heard of the challenge of the enemy. Faith, faith rises in his spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith rises in, inside of him. And he said to his people, who is that man? Shouting, mocking the chosen people of God. Who is that guy? I will go and kill him. Hallelujah. See? Let me tell you one more thing. Those who trust in the Lord and those who have in faith, faith in God will never speak negative. Even the problem will be so big. You know, this Goliath, Goliath, Goliath is a big enemy for, not only for David, for the whole nation. For the whole nation. David is facing a big enemy for, not only for his family, for the whole nation's enemy he's facing. He did not speak negative. Wow. This guy is so big. His volume is so big. Wow, he's such a huge guy. He never said, I will go and kill him. Hallelujah. I will go and smite him in the name of the Lord. Amen. Never speak a, a single negative word. Friends, whenever we face any little problem or difficulties, any financial problem or any something misunderstanding in our family or in our situation, we start speaking negative word. That is the fruit of unbelief. Can you say amen for that? That is the fruit of unbelief. That is the fruit of faithless people. When you see the problem, the one who trusts in the Lord, whenever he sees any, pro any, he sees any problem and faces any problem, he will say, my promotion is very near. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My promotion. I was, go I'm very soon, I'm going to see God's miracle. Very soon, I'm going to see God's victory. Very soon, I will have a big testimony that my God can do anything. Amen? For this situation, for this condition, for this problem, for these difficulties, I'm going to say that my God is able. Hallelujah. He's not a weak God. Not only that, He is a loving God. He cares for me. Amen? Out of this situation, Soon I will overcome. Hallelujah. Soon I will speak of victory. Soon I can see the song of victory. Amen. That's the, the, the one who trusts in God. So David, even though bodily he's a very small guy, still he trusts in the Lord. He never speak negative. Then he said, his word came hard by King Saul. King, King Saul invited him. What kind of man this to fight against Goliath? So King Saul may expect a big guy. The same body like Goliath. Goliath. Then David came. Like four feet, something like that maybe. Very short guy. Wow. Boy. Not even a man. Boy. How can you do? You all know in... Uh, in and you are inexperienced. You have no experience. This man have battle experience, fighting experience. How can you win? You have no weapon, no nothing. David said, "My king, your servant, 
look after my father's flocks in the field when the lion came when the bear came and take one of my flock i take them out of was that the hand of the lion and i smite them this lions and bear in the name of the lord the one who is shouting this philistine guy the colored will be one of these animals hallelujah Amen. never speak negative everyone everybody say never speak negative never. hallelujah amen. amen those who really trust in the lord never speak negative everything he sees positive amen because is beyond the problem he saw he sees his god is how big his god is amen, amen? his god is much mightier than the enemy much bigger than the enemy much stronger than the enemy amen those who do not trust in the lord only sees the problem how the the problem is big how sickness is big how financial problem is big oh this conflict is big only this but those who trust in the lord can see my god is much much bigger than this problem hallelujah much much stronger than this challenging problem i will win i am the winner because my god is a big god Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Therefore, today let us learn a good lesson from David. Learn of how he trusts in the Lord. Then he went to the valley, took five stones, go up to the mountain where Goliath was standing. Gol- Goliath saw him. He challenged him. come i will kill you i will give you a flesh to the air of the birds goliath shouted at him like that curse him david also said you came with flesh and blood you are how strong you are with the armor the weapons of this world i came in the name of the lord hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. i will cut your neck today even though david had no no knife no weapon at nothing but he said he still said i will cut your neck i will give your flesh to the heir of the birds hallelujah shall i then the man that the colliot was so angry run to him but david run up ran up to him hallelujah you see god look at each on one of our hearts and god himself and all of his angels god himself and all of his angels are ready to fight for the one who trusts in God. Amen. They are not ashamed to stand for small boy David because they see that the faith and the trust of David. They don't want him to put a shame. Hallelujah. Amen. They see, they saw the trust of David in God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Today let us learn. When you are small boy or small girl, whoever maybe. No problem. As long as you trust in the Lord. The Lord Almighty and his mighty angel army are ready to fight for you. Amen. Amen. 
they will fight on your behalf they will work on your behalf amen then as you all know david killed goliath god he said amen then the israel this they wrote a song and sang Saul their king Saul killed the enemy thousands of thousands they said they praised Saul first and again they praised but David kills 10,000 tens of thousands amen and they sing then the jealousy spirit of jealousy came to Saul instead of love and exhort david saw the king start to hate david he tried to kill david he, he ran after david's life not only himself with all his army He looked for David's life. David was running with deer, hiding himself in the cave. So let me tell you one thing. When we see victory, victory doesn't mean that we never face any hardship. Victory never say that we never broke been broken hearted we never experience sorrowful experience loneliness helpless situation now david after the greatest victory for the nation he start lonely the whole nation against him King Saul and all his armies are against David. David was running and running and running for a long period of time, hiding himself with deer, with sorrowful, with loneliness, no one to comfort him. he automatically become the enemy of the king because of the victory he got today you may be against by somebody because of nothing you did wrong but because of the victory the favor you got just people will simply hate you simply misunderstand you people will just against you not because of anything but just because of the favor that you receive it is it we it, it was not your fault you may be broken heart sorrowful experience if you are going to ask question to god why me lord why why me lord why but beyond your brokenness beyond your loneliness sorrowful experience the victory is waiting for you amen, amen? when david and his friends hiding in the big cave and Saul and his fellows they came in rest at the entrance of the cave it was a big nap they took and David's friend told him David today is your victory day today is your victory victory day see your enemy's life is in your hand now you can 
go and easily kill him and take his life. The Lord give the life of your enemies into your hand. Go and take his life. His friend told him. Then David said, even though he even though he got a good chance to kill Saul, he said, I will not touch, lay my hand on the anointed of God. Hallelujah. So David, even though he got a good chance to kill his enemy, he did not touch Saul's life. Why? Because his respect of God Almighty. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. His respect of God Almighty. He did not touch. Those who really trust in the Lord do not want to take revenge from his enemy. They are wait and wait and wait and wait until God does something. Hallelujah. If David took the victory by his himself, it may not be that long last victory. David, David did not take his victory by his own effort. He just wait upon the Lord. Say everyone, wait upon the Lord. Say it again. Isaiah said, those who trust in the Lord and that they wait upon the Lord shall be like an eagle, right? Their strength will be renewed like an eagle. So David, even though he got a good chance one after another, he did not take his chance. This is my good chance. I will kill him. He did not say. He did not move with flesh and blood. Amen. Amen? Amen? He did not move with flesh and blood. If he's also a young guy, a young boy, he may have a very full of flesh and blood, strong, full of enthusiastic mentality he may have. But he, need not, he did not know, move according to his flesh and blood. He wait upon the Lord. Until God does he just wait. He did not take revenge of his enemy's life by himself. He just wait. So therefore today, let us learn this great lesson. Those who really trust in the Lord. Ah, this is my good chance. I will go and take it. They will not move by flesh and blood. They will not move by head idea. They just move and wait upon the Lord. Until God does something, they just wait. Then, as you all know, as David ran and ran and ran, even though he got a good chance, maybe I think all his friends may accuse him you're still running. God give you many a time to win your enemy. God give you many a time good chance to kill your enemy. But you don't want to touch. You're still running. That is your fault. That a kind of accusation he may get from his friend. But David. That King Saul is the anointed king of God. I will not lay my hand on him. Hallelujah. In respect of God Almighty. He just keep on waiting. Hallelujah. Friends, especially you young men, many young people. Yes, as your young people, your flesh and blood are very strong. You may have many of them a smart idea. But do not move according to your smart idea. Move according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen? 
Amen. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the God's timing. Until the God move, never move. Amen. Then in his time come. Saul was killed in the battle. Now without his own effort his timing is calm now david become the king hallelujah the king the most famous king for israel he had been he it has been died 3000 years ago still is the most famous king even today the flag of israelite is the flag of david, king david in those days still they are so proud of their flag that is david's flag hallelujah dear friends when god gives you a real victory it lasts for long it lasts for long not a short a short period of victory it lasts long and good 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 name amen good smelling amen long last victory god's giving victory is a long last victory ever today let me speak this word so angry those who trust in the lord as the bible says will not be moved they will remain like a mount zion surrounded by many mountains never moved those who trust in the lord are surrounded by god almighty the presence of our god almighty and those who trust in the lord are surrounded by god's angels amen they will not be moved with any problem any situation any difficulty any challenges we may face till they will remain and their time will come god's promotion will come hallelujah hallelujah that promotion will be a long last promotion hallelujah a wonderful promotion You learn something today. Those who trust in the Lord, you know, when they heard something bad things or some criticism, criticizing words or some unexpected come, they not they do not murmuring. They do not murmuring. They still rest in God. Can you say amen for that? Amen. amen? when you see little problem here and there little challenge here and there little uh, speaking against of you do not be moved by that you will not be destroyed by speaking against of you you will not be destroyed by the op- the, op- the opinions of other people amen Many people will say we have many opinion over you will come and may give you many suggestion many advice some are very good advice but still whatever the people may say good or bad you will not be moved by that you will be moved by your god hallelujah you will be blessed by your god even though your enemy the one who hates you and you are the one who is jealous of you will speak many bad things about you don't be afraid they cannot do anything unless god allowed something happen to you amen trust in the lord let god be your hiding place amen let god be your refuge amen let god be your safety place let god be your victory as you trust in that way let me tell you 
God will move on your behalf. God will fight on your behalf. God will do something miracle on your behalf. That's the most powerful thing. You cannot fight with your own understanding, with your own wisdom or knowledge, with your own strength. You have no enough strength for that. But God will stand for you. Amen. You know, in 19... 19- 87 when I about to start the church in Rangoon all my money gone then I was so discouraged kneel down in the presence of God I talked to God no more money just going to start a church then the Lord said up on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. With that word, God said, up on this rock. Did I ever say that I will build my church on money? I said, no, Lord. Where will I build my church? Up on the rock. The rock is Jesus himself. His name is called the rock of all ages. The time, the ages will meet, may change, but Jesus never changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the rock of all ages. Amen? He never, he never moved. No one can move Jesus. He's the big rock. And he said, up on this rock, upon the faith of the trust on the Lord Jesus Christ. I will build my church. He said, I will build. Mungto, you cannot build my church. I will build my church, Jesus said so. Amen? God's business cannot be done by human being. God's business is, can be done only by God himself. All for his glory. Amen? I will build my church. Not you, he said. You are just only the instrument that I'm going to use. Just in faith and in obedience. Just move, he said. You cannot do by the song. But I will, he said. When Jesus said, I will, he will. Amen? Amen? He's a faithful Jesus. As he said, I will. He really does. Until today. I look back these 27 years of my journey of faith. When I look back, we start with five people. Now even in Rangoon, it's over 5,000. Amen? That's just bigger and bigger. Even the staff, the pastoral staff are bigger and bigger. Now 78 people walking under me. Even in Rangoon, one local church. Not the church, even even how to handle these 78 people is the, a big thing. Still growing. Still unity and harmony in the, among the staff. Why? Not me. Jesus. Amen? Amen? Amen. Every Sunday, even today, I, I, I asked Ken Gibb, what is today? How, 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 is, how was today? He said, full of people come in the church. Amen? Amen? The, the rooms are full, he said. How can I persuade all these people to come over from many a long distance? Even some people come from a very long distance. Some people even, they do not have enough money to come. But still, in spite of their struggling financial problem, still coming to listen to the word of God, to worship God with us. Why? Jesus is a living God. He is building his church. Amen? Oh, to give salary, wages for these 78 people. Oh, many, a lot of money is needed every month. Many a time, if I am thinking of my own flesh and blood, 
if no if people start not to give to the church how can i handle all this stuff salary that many a time my thinking worry start to come in but i know one day this is not my church this is his church amen amen amen, amen. this is not my church this is his church he's the one who gave his life for his church he's the one who shed his blood for his church he's the one who built for his church by god's grace and god's grace grace alone i am here serving to god and to the people amen hallelujah so that give me peace that give me joy if i don't have that trust in the lord how much i will worry even plus we have over 70 missionaries sending out from our church we have to support them every day every month even their house rent is a big problem even we still have 60 orphans at our orphanage they we all have to educate them and we have to give them every day food clothing even somebody is get sick we have to send them cleaning everything it costs a lot of money still if i am thinking in my own flesh and blood way of thinking big amount of money is always requirement but one thing i know a god is our the source of our supply never runs out amen even is always enough god hallelujah not even enough more than enough god he is a living god he is trustworthy god amen now we are in tosa i got great we are growing and growing growing over now even like 500 people we are here in in singapore in australia in malaysia in myanmar over 36 churches like 36 churches growing everywhere one thing i know and i learn from all this for god is a living god amen now i am keep on traveling all over the world looking after all these churches they ask me take invite me i have to go anyway but still in my absence the church is still growing that that show the church is growing not because of me because of jesus i will build my church amen and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it yes there is against many things financial problem in myanmar government problem we face many a time many time we are order to shut down our church not allowed to no longer to allow to worship god here in this place many many against thing we face still we are still growing jesus said the gates of hell shall not prevail against it ever today young guys young people you are precious for the future learn how to trust in the lord Your future is the bright future. Walk with God. Trust in him. Look to him. Talk to him. Listen to him what he said. Listen and be sensitive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit in your life. Amen. Amen. Be sensitive to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. What he is asking you to do. Sometimes what is asking you to do maybe impossible in your imagination do not allow your imagination allow the holy spirit amen do not always put first your reasoning power reasoning put he is a miracle working god he is supernatural power god he is beyond us nature he can do beyond my thinking so therefore young people there is a danger not to be obedience to god why because you are using 
Too much of your reasoning. Too much of your reasoning will stop you going along with God. Can you say amen? amen. Too much reasoning, reasoning, reasoning. Why should I do this? What sh- why should I give this? Why should I go there? Why should I, I pray hard? Why should I attend every day? Many of reasoning will stop you going with, along with God. Stop your reasoning. Listen to God. Amen. 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 What the Lord said so. That if you trust. So the Lord said. Do not be afraid. Upon this rock. I will build my church and the, gate, the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. As I keep on listening that word until today, sometimes the church may have big challenge here or young or everywhere. Still, I keep on listening. The Lord said, I will build my church. Amen? Amen. Even though right now the problem may not be solved immediately, still, I, I, what I hear is, I will build my church. Amen. Even though we may not have enough money to extend this building right now yet, but still I heard the voice of the Lord say, I will build my church. Amen. Amen. Even though we may have many challenges anywhere to, work, to, to move for God, but I heard, I will build my church. My son, do not be afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. That word. I trust that gave me peace that gave me joy so for some people say Sia Mung Tong, Pastor Mung Tong, your responsibility is too big yes humility human way of thinking my responsibility my responsibility may be too big too huge but I don't feel like that Jesus said my yoke is light Amen. Amen. When I trust in the Lord, I am healthy. No night is my sleepless night. <laughs> Every night. As I lay down my head, I start to snore. Amen. <laughs> my wife used my wife and my son Kaino used it. Daddy just, he, he lay his head, head on the pillow. He just starts snoring, they said. So sometimes, when I wake up in the midnight, I look my wife here. He, she's not there. <laughs> she's not there. I was, oh, where's my wife? What? I go and look her in the room. Then he went and, she went and slept herself on the couch. In the living room with a with a blanket. Later on, why she did like that? Because before she slept, I slept and I start snoring. So she could not sleep. So she awoke myself and she she went to the living room and she slept by herself. Because of my snoring. Why I'm so easily to snore? Because I trust in the Lord. I have the peace and the joy of the Lord. I have no worry in my heart. I just put everything in the heart. I just have a good rest. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me tell you. Trusting in the Lord is a good, the best medicine for rest. If you trust in the Lord for everything, you have a peace of mind. A rest heart. Amen. Your bodily will rest. Emotionally will rest. Amen. Amen. It's very important. Some people, even though their body is sleeping, their mind is not rest. Emotionally they are moving. Thinking, thinking, worrying, worrying. Fighting inside of their heart. Fighting. They have battle in their mind. Therefore, even though they are laying down, they, good, they do not have rest because their mind is not rest. Why? 
they do not trust in the lord they are keep on thinking their problem their situation their condition the difficulty their financial or their hatred many they keep on thinking they therefore even though their bodily is on the bed their mind is not on the bed Just keep on walking on therefore no rest so to have good rest is to trust in the lord in everything and know that god has the a best plan for your future he has he has no bad plan for you because he loves you so much he even gave his son jesus to die on your behalf to shed his blood for you and jesus already gave the big price for your victory what kind of price not gold and silver he gave his own blood he gave his own life for your victory he has already done on the cross therefore if you trust in the finished work of the lord and even he raised rose from the dead he's the resurrected jesus he overcome the power of death so if you trust in the resurrected jesus in the risen savior jesus you will have rest not only your body rest your mind rest peace a sound mind with a sound mind you will rest and you have you will have a real rest and you are a blessed person if you have tr- if you trust in that way if you trust the lord in that way god will walk on your behalf Amen. god your will fight on your behalf god will god will stand on your behalf what you cannot do you cannot accomplish by yourself god will make you accomplish by his own power with his unseen hand with his unseen mighty hand with his unseen holy spirit god will work on your behalf now all over the world and even in myanmar everywhere god is working on my behalf i know amen like this cd came come up this praise and worship cd one of the best album in the whole myanmar I have no effort to do that work. All my young people they done by themselves. I got I took the name that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. You if you watch that 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 video you will see me all the time. But just see me. I am not nothing worry about that. I did I never work. Then they said come and preach. I just went up and preach that's all. That's all not the, not worry too much not not big effort i have to make i just take a good name everywhere hallelujah god want you to reign hallelujah to enjoy life amen amen because when you trust in the lord you cannot do everything for yourself or for other people but as you trust in the lord he will walk on your behalf he will fight on your behalf you just simply will have the victory you just want simply will enjoy in the victory of god that already he has given to you amen trust in the lord you will have you will have a good rest he will fight for you do you want to that do you, do you want that big kind of victory the simple what is just trust in him he's a good god he's not a bad god Amen. He has the best future for you. He has a blessed plan for you. Do you believe that the Lord has a blessed the best plan for you in your future? Do you believe that? Trust in him. If you believe so, he will lead you there. If you believe God has a good destiny for me, he will lead you there. Amen. Are you blessed today? Yes. What shall we ask them please? Halaba sata la balaba. Do you want to praise God for that? Say say after me, Lord. I know you are a good God. You love me. You die for me. You shed your blood for me. You gave your life for me. You are a resurrected Jesus. You are a living savior. You are my Lord. You are my savior. 
You are my redeemer. You are my shepherd. I shall not be one. I am rich. I have a victory. I have a bright future. Because you love me. You have a great plan for me. My future is a bright future. I am I I trust in you. I trust in you. I trust you. I trust you for everything. I give my life to you. I give my everything to you. My future is in your hand. I will have a good rest. I will have a success life. I am greatly favored by you. I am accepted by you. I love you, Jesus. I love you, God Almighty. I love you, God Holy Spirit. Continue to lead me and guide me to all truth. I will follow you. I want to be sensitive to your voice. I want to be obedient to you. I am yours. You are mine. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I worship you. Let's lift up our hands and worship the Lord for a while. Hallelujah. Hola ba la ba la ba la ba la ba ba la ba la ba la ba la ba Oh Jesus 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 Hala ba la ba la ba la ba Hola ba la ba la ba la ba Jesus 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 I love you Lord I worship you Jesus I adore you Lord Blessed be your name Blessed be your name I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I trust you, Lord. I bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba. He la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba. Hallelujah. The Lord will lead you. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will provide you. The Lord will give already, the Lord already give you victory. You are not just ordinary person. You are extraordinary. Uh, ordinary. You are, you will be beyond your imagination. God will bless you so that you can become blessing to many people. You are God chosen vessel. vessel. God will use you mightily. Your hand will touch the sick. And the sick will be healed. Amen. You will speak words of prophetic. People will be ex- ex- encouraged. People will be blessed. People will be built up. Your word is a powerful word. God is with you. You will be full of wisdom and knowledge. The Lord will give you a revelation knowledge. Amen. Then you will be more success. More victorious person. You in your lifetime, you will think much more great things in ahead of time. It, 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 that is waiting for you. The best is yet to come. Do not be afraid. God is with you. Amen. As you trust in, in him, he delights in you. As you trust in him, one more time, he delights in you. Amen. He just only looking at who trusts in him. As you trust in the Lord for everything. He will lead you and he will delight in you. And he will favor you in man and in God and in every situation. You will be such a wonderful, victorious person for his own glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You are blessed.